we salute its final drop. Now it's sexy time. Okay, so let me explain a little bit of thing about the screen. So the material folds around the back, and then it was bolted in after the fact. It was loosened, wrapped, pushed, and squeezed. So a DMS is like, hey, put these things under it. So we're gonna remove the entire screen from this. Uh, I'll probably, do my side first. I'm gonna do your side first. So I'm using this incorrect bit on my West German. Hold on, I gotta make sure it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Same as whatever you did for the top ones. Don't tell me that. One. Is it moving? Oh, it's probably resting already. Yeah. All right. Let's just get this. This is just an awkward position. I know they make tools to do this, goddammit. Stop linking me to things in the description. I could hear them linking. Can you hear them linking? Ah, oh, there we go. All right, you can um, hand unscrew that out. Try not to scratch the, the foot fetish that you made me put on. You were insistent. He's like, I have a fan of my feet. This is not of my doing. Okay. So it should just fall straight onto the speaker it's stand. It's still connected to this side somehow, just by tension, I guess. Oh, there we go. It's free. Can you believe it? Free Willy. Hold on. It's just, I put lock washers in here, which is why it's probably grabbing. Oh, there she goes. Oh, I lost a bit in there. It's nice using spandex though. Yeah. Yeah, this one was a lot harder because it's just like a normal screen. Yeah, and I think spandex honestly looks better. The peach, peach ivory. I used ivory. So now the screen is entirely not connected. So we're gonna sit on the floor. Oh, it doesn't even weigh 50 pounds. I thought this was heavier than this. This is super light. Uh, standing up. We'll just st strip the... Uh... So in case you guys didn't watch my video, there's literally two pieces of um, tube that I heated up in the sink. This is just straight up vinyl tubing. I had to heat these up to make them soft and malleable, and then I got them in here. Uh, wait, yeah, we can take the top off. And now this is literally ready to flap off. Let's flip it upside down. Flip the whole thing this way, so we can do the bottom. It's nice and stiff. Always knew I'd say that to DMS one day. Mm. This is why I needed an extra pair of hands. And now the edges are just the same thing. And then I just trimmed it all with a knife once it was all installed. And this is, literally I built like a $680 me uh, metallic frame. Felt on here? Oh, to keep, so you don't see the reflection of the silver yeah, that's through there. Let me get this off the floor. This has been, thank you $60 and, and stuff. You've done well. I probably ordered it again if I built another one. The only problem with this fabric is it only comes 54 inches wide. Now it's stretchy. So you could probably stretch it to 60 inches if you really wanted to. Which I probably stretched it a it's bit. It's a pretty big screen. It's eight feet wide. Literally, this is exactly an eight foot piece of aluminum. So it's eight feet wide to the fucking millimeter. You got it down to 2.35 to 1. I just figured out the height. I had to cut these. And then, boom. Yeah. 2.37, I went. Some weird number. Anyway, I got to go put these in a bag. Think about how many movies and pornography things I've seen with, these, with this piece of fabric. I don't think about that. All right, well, that's your fucking bad. And it's not here. We actually get the ends outside. But um, so you have to take the rest of this apart with it up in the air because uh -huh. these, what are you uh -huh. eating? Uh, these are gas cylinders, yeah. like that hold up trunk lids. So you've got to pop out the safety. Oh God. 
Pop out the safety clip. Like, like that. And then this will pop, come off. Oh God. Like that. There you go. See, no tension. If you try, if you, trust me, I've had to take these off a couple times with it down. It was not fun. It was the least fun event of my building of the screen. Because it's like, hey, do you like your hands? I hope not. Oh, that's some cat goo. Shit. Popped out crooked. Got nothing to like. That was bad news. I bad news bared this. And it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get it back on. It it, actually, it wasn't DMS's fault this time. Oh God. Oh God. All right, I'm gonna fix this off camera where I don't lose my hand. Content. Content money. I did fix it. I almost cut my hand off. But um, I didn't have these boosters. I tried to build it with just the boosters originally. This was gonna just be something that went up automatically, like a trunk lid. And then if I wanted to use a screen, I would pull it down. But in order to lift the entire screen up required such a strong one of these that it would bend the wall. And I thought that the pressure of compressing it would just break everything. So now they're here only in the capacity to support the linear actuators. Because they would wind up to the ceiling and it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. And then I'd come back the next day and it'd be like a foot lower. It would just slowly unwind the thing overnight. And I'm like, fuck! So I put those on and then it just helped, it sort of just helped support it at the end. So now we can go back down. This did a thing. I mean, it probably doesn't matter. It probably doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't crash into the... Yeah, you know what? Let's fix that. Going back up. Going up. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna loosen that wire up. It's gonna come off there anyway, but... Yeah, just get it under that. Come on, bro. You, they're only like 40 pounds of force, if I recall. I'm just gonna carefully wiggle around it. There we go. You don't swing that into the TV if you could avoid it. What good service is it? I was so afraid. This has been up since April of 2015. That's a minute. I'm pretty sure it was April. Of I know it was April I got it up. But I only moved into this apartment in February. If you tell me in two months I designed and built this, I have to check my records. Because I'm definitely, because I went to Japan in November of 2015 and my roommate was still living in this apartment. Reasonable. Unless he left in April of 2016. And maybe this up in 2016. You know what? This has got to be April 2016. So that's four and a half years. That's solid. That's a solid lifetime. I'm proud of this baby. I'm, I'm proud of you, baby. You did good. I was always worried that one of these was going to fail and it would go crooked and twist it off the ceiling and be bad. So I ended up spending an extra $140 for another two exactly the same Windy Nation ones. Um, so now we have to unscrew pro oof. Yeah, no, because there's one hidden back there. We've got to do these two, which will slide this down. I'm going to take those out. Now we can get this off, which I don't remember how I did this. I think there's oh, nuts in here. This tape, by the way, is the... Um... There's this... not. No, there... well, there is. There's no hole to see it, but... It's like peeling the skin off of a goddamn avatar. Well, there is not. Wait, how did I screw that in then? Oh, there's just nuts back here. Shit. Does that mean we have to pull the, we have to pull the cotter pins out, lift it up, and then we can get to the bolts. This is gonna have to swing down. All right, we got this. We got this, boys and girls. We got this. I'm gonna put this goo on here right in this camera. Let's f fuck that shit. As you see, you get yourself a dimmis, and then he holds that up while you screw the wall. One. These are like $4 a piece. Crazy special order stainless steel. Try not to hit my armor. And we have the same problem we did on the other side. It's going to be interesting. So let's... Is it loose or is yeah. it stuck again? It's stuck. I hear it. Here, wait. We're going to get that cool sound. Boom. Well, the washers actually stuck to the wall there. Yes, they are. Were there washers on this side? Oh yeah, there are. We've literally compressed washers into the wood. Now my goal is to not take that shit off for the 
when I sell, when I leave this apartment. So, Whew. Um, uh, let's just put the pins and the cotter pins back into the pins for the Windy Nation linear actuators, and then we'll get all this other hardware off. Wait. For the a Ziploc bag. I don't know what's holding that on now. This is a great hammer, by the way. However, oh, wait. No, it doesn't feel like another hole. Oh, Joshua Valor is underwater today. Um, yeah. Just his dick comes up. That'd be great. We've come to an impasse. Oh, you started the GoPro again. We just watched um, Old Boy. Old Boy, the original one. So I have a, I have a fucking fear of hammers now. Anyway, we don't know what's holding these fucking block blocks on because it was eight screws. So you gonna give them some dental work? And then there was one screwing in the thing, but now they're just they're just literally. Just the paint, the paint adhered it to it. So I should be able to just whack it down. Wild. That was wild. Yeah, I was like confused as fuck. So I may have to run a coat of paint on this if I want to, uh, I plan to leave these pieces of wood on the wall. Yeah, I know. Artwork will go like one of the last shipments with me before the moving men come. I don't know if I could live in this apartment without like art, like something colorful. Yeah, that drives me insane. Like I know I want to desire being in the new house and no nothing helps that better than like destroying where you're living. Like eating off of paper plates and not having anything fun. That's a good, good motivating factor, but there's no fucking internet there. So I'm not moving to that house until I have the internet. Here's all the hardware so far. It's been holding up the screen. Oh, there's blue tack on here in case you're wondering. All oh, blue tack on all paintings just to hold them straight. Oh, uh, pry those off. What? Use the little screwdriver over there. Keeping in mind that's my favorite tool of all time. Don't fuck it up. I will make My favorite tool. It's my favorite tool. All right, keep going. 